everything that I know about life is kind of like viewed through this lens of being a climber. All of my craziest experiences, all my hardest experiences, all my best experiences are basically all somehow associated with climbing. As a climber, you're pushing yourself to the limit. You're trying your hardest, and so you're failing constantly. And then the cold wind shows up, and then it starts to rain, and then it starts to snow, and you forgot your jacket. You don't have any more food, and then you still have to walk all the way back out of the mountains. Plenty of the time when you're like, oh, we can't go on anymore. You can go on, you just don't want to go on anymore because it's uncomfortable or, or you're afraid that it's going to become uncomfortable. Can you continue? Yeah, you can continue. May as well keep going until you can't anymore. Climbing helps put the rest of life in perspective. Somehow, through the adversity that climbing brings, not only do you start to crave those experiences of adventure, but then when you get back home, you appreciate home so much more as well. If you spend a lot of your time climbing, most of the rest of life feels pretty relaxed. It's just, it's all pretty chill. I often think of climbing as like elective hardship. Like if you can kind of train yourself on how to deal with it through climbing, it's gonna help you better deal with it when it happens unexpectedly. The lessons that you take from climbing are a really healthy way to frame the rest of your life. Attempting to free climb the famously steep face of El Capitan in Yosemite. The climb that shocked the world. Everyone has tuned in to watch these guys do the impossible. What those guys did, it's incredible. It's amazing. Alex has free solo thousands of climbs. With no ropes, how does he do it? Nice, Tommy. I'm pretty conflicted about the risk that I take as a climber. I think as risk is almost like a detrimental like side effect. It's like you're ashamed of your gift. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, that's almost like a good way to put it. I'm almost like ashamed of my gift a little bit. <laughs> but I can't help but to pursue it. And then I have this friend who really like helps me pursue this weird addiction of mine in certain ways. Oh, yeah. We both have very similar risk tolerances, and that's part of what makes our climbing partnership work so well is that we consistently make the same choices in terms of risk taking. It's just that you're known as the safe family man and, and I'm known as the daredevil. But like, realistically, when we climb together, we're choosing to do the same things. Yeah. You know, I mean, isn't that fair? Yeah, and maybe the reason that people perceive us that way is because our separate pinnacle goals, mine are kind of safe and yours are kind of dangerous. I'm frequently criticized for free soloing or at least questioned about risk taking. I choose the risks that I take very intentionally. I minimize the risks that I can. I take very little risk in, in other avenues of my life. So ultimately, you know, when people say like, you're gonna die, I'm like, yeah, I am gonna die and we're all gonna die. But I've made pretty clear intentional choices with the way I lead my life and the things that I wanna do. I welcome anybody else to do the same. That doesn't mean to free solo, I mean to think about their life critically. <laughs> What I think is interesting about both of our respective approaches is that we've both come from slightly different backgrounds to it. I was drawn to rock climbing because it was kind of a family endeavor. My dad was a guide. We were out climbing when I was super young. We're a super adventurous family, so I kind of had no choice. Tommy's been climbing since he was three, so I mean, literally your entire life is climbing. Yeah, like all of my experiences are basically all somehow associated with climbing and hanging out with other climbers. So what hasn't climbing taught me? I started climbing when I went to a climbing gym when I was 10 or 11 years old. So a uh, slightly less adventurous start, but like pretty much every day since I was around 10, I've wanted to go climbing more than I've wanted to do anything else. And that eventually led me to drop out of university and live in a van and climb full time. You know, I basically climbed five or six days a week for 25 years now, but I never really chose it. I just, or really I choose it day by day. I just like going climbing every day. Like dedicating to your life to climbing wasn't even an option when I was a little kid. The only people that did that like lived in caves and were impoverished. 
but competition climbing started in the U.S. and I entered this early competition when I was 16 years old with some of America's best climbers. <laughs> and I was like this little kid that nobody had ever heard of and I ended up winning the competition. And so I think that was like the first time in my life where I was like, wow, maybe I have something here. Maybe I should pursue this. Tommy and I have both been climbing at an elite level for many, many years. And as a result, we both move relatively similarly on rock now because as you spend a lot of time practicing a skill, you start to get closer and closer to the most efficient way of moving on rock. Our masterclass is really a snapshot of all things climbing that should give you the tools to pursue this activity. All the basics of movement, ranging from your footwork, your body positioning, and hand positions, how to crack climb, how to assess roots, safety techniques as to how to belay and some basic rope work, and then how to apply those techniques outside and how to make sure that you climb outside in a responsible manner. We also sprinkle in a little bit of like the psychological and cultural aspects of the sport. You know, things like a love for physical improvement, mental mastery, and a shared experience with a good friend. Just gaze longingly at each other. So handsome up there. We hope this class will give you the tools to make climbing kind of a launch pad to enrich in your life. Or if you're already a climber, let climbing progress in a way that will also enrich your life. I'm Tommy Caldwell. And I'm Alex Honnold. And this is our master, master class. class. We've totally fucked it up. And this is our master, master class. class. Timing is so off. This is our master class. And this is our master class. This is our master class. I'm Tommy Caldwell. And I'm Alex Honnold. And this, this is our master class. class.